Miracle on 34th Street is a 1994 American Christmas fantasy film written and produced by John Hughes, and directed by Les Mayfield the two would reunite for 1997's Flubber. It stars Richard Attenborough, Mara Wilson, Elizabeth Perkins, and Dylan McDermott, and is the fourth remake and the second theatrical version of the original 1947 film. Like the original, this film was released by 20th Century Fox. The New York City-based Macy's department store declined any involvement with this remake, so the fictitious Coles became its replacement. Gimbel's had gone out of business in 1987, hence it was replaced by the fictional Shoppers Express. Topic <laughs> plot. <laughs> Cole's department store's special events director Dory Walker Elizabeth Perkins fires Tony Falici from being the Cole's department store's Santa Claus after he gets drunk before taking part in the Thanksgiving parade. Immediately trying to find a replacement, she spots an elderly man Richard Attenborough who was berating the inebriated Santa before the parade. When Dory begs him to take over, he introduces himself as Chris Kringle. Chris does so well during the parade that he is immediately hired to be Cole's main Santa for the holiday period. All the children in New York begin to believe that he is the real Santa, with the exception of Dory's six-year-old daughter Susan Mara Wilson. Dory's boyfriend, Brian Bedford Dylan McDermott, does his best to convince Susan to believe. While being babysat one night by Chris, Susan shares with him her Christmas wish, she would like a dad, a house used every year for the Coles catalog photoshoot and a baby brother. Chris asks if she would begin to believe in Santa if she got all those things. Susan agrees that she would. Chris is credited with bringing in increasingly more sales to Coles than previous years. One night, he is arrested for assaulting a man on the street, later revealed to be the original drunk Santa, Tony Falici. Falici had taken revenge by means of setting up Chris to be arrested, with the help of members of staff from a rival department store of Coles, Shoppers Express. With the help of Brian, Dory takes Chris's case to court, and drums up support for him from the public. It soon becomes clear that to get Chris acquitted and freed, Brian must somehow prove that not only does Santa exist, but that Chris is the real one. It is a seemingly impossible task until Brian comes up with a plan that requires some help from Susan. Just as the judge is about to make his decision, and it seems he was going to rule against Chris, Susan walks up to the judge with a Christmas card containing a $1 bill. On the back, the words in God we trust are circled. The judge realizes that, since the U.S. Department of Treasury can put its official faith in God on U.S. currency with no hard evidence, then the people of New York can believe in Santa Claus in the same way. Left with no choice, the elated judge dismisses the case and declares that Santa is real, existing in the person of Kris Kringle. Following the court case, Dory and Brian are maneuvered by Chris into realizing their true feelings for each other, and are married in a very small ceremony right after the Christmas Eve midnight mass. On Christmas morning, Susan wakes to the news of the marriage via the bright reflections of Dory's engagement ring on the Christmas tree and is elated to see that she has part one of her Christmas wish, Brian as her new stepdad. Together, Susan, Dory and Brian drive out to the catalog house and upon arrival, find that Chris has arranged for them to purchase the house, which they can now afford due to the size of the Christmas bonus Dory has received as a result of Chris's work at Coles. Susan, now having got two out of three of her wishes, excitedly runs upstairs in the house to look at her bedroom. Dory and Brian are about to kiss when Dory asks her what the last part of her Christmas wish was, and she triumphantly announces that it was a baby brother. Dory and Brian both look at each other, shocked, before glancing down at Dory's stomach and sharing a kiss. The film ends with the belief that Susan has now received all she asked for in her wish. It is mentioned that Chris has gone overseas. Topic. Cast 
Richard Attenborough as Kris Kringle, said to be the real Santa Claus. He reluctantly takes on the duty as Cole's Santa Claus after the original drunk Santa is terminated. Elizabeth Perkins as Dory Walker, Susan's mother. She is the director of special events for Coles, and Brian Bedford's girlfriend. Mara Wilson as Susan Walker, Dory's six-year-old daughter. Dylan McDermott as Brian Bedford, Dory's boyfriend and neighbor. J.T. Walsh as Ed Collins, a lawyer. Simon Jones as Donald Shellhammer, the general manager of Coles, known for his departing phrase, Chin Chin. James Ramar as Jack Duff, a minion under the greedy Victor Landberg. Jane Leaves as Alberta Leonard, another minion under the greedy Victor Landberg. William Wyndham as C.F. Cole. Robert Prosky as Judge Henry Harper, the city judge presiding over Chris' case. He has a grandson who is seen thinking Chris is Santa Claus in the first scene of the film. Alison Janney as a brazen woman shopper in Cole's Christmas Shopping Center. Jack McGee as Tony Falici, the drunk Santa who was fired from being the Cole's Santa Claus. Joss Ackland uncredited as Victor Landberg, owner of a competing store who is eager to see Coles go out of business so he can buy out the facility and extend his market. Topic reception at the box office, the film opened at number 8 with $2,753,208 and eventually finished with $17,320,146 in North America and $46,264,384 worldwide. Rotten Tomatoes gave the film a score of 59% based on reviews from 34 critics. TV Guide called the film curiously depressing, while Desson Howe of The Washington Post said, in contrast to the 1947 version, it will not be found on television or its computer equivalent half a century from now. Its supporters include Gene Siskel and Roger Ebert, who gave the film two thumbs up on their show. Michael Medved of Sneak Previews said, This is the new holiday classic America has been waiting for. Topic. Release The Dreamston 27th episode, The Return, accompanied the film's theatrical release. Topic. See also Miracle on 34th Street 1947. Miracle on 34th Street 1973